So DaVinci Resolve on the iPad has been out for a few weeks and I knew it wouldn't be long before the third party developers started getting on board. And first off the block is Motion VFX. This, as you know, is my favorite title and effects package. I use it all the time on all my YouTube videos and in my production work, and they've really done a great job. This means that not only can I edit my DaVinci Resolve projects on my iPad, but now if there's Motion VFX involved or I wanna add Motion VFX, I can do that wherever I am. Great, as long as you can actually get a signal. Shh. Try to watch a film, mate. You just never know when one of these might come in handy. So the team at Motion VFX have been super quick to respond to DaVinci Resolve coming out on the iPad. And the real beauty of this is all those packs that you've purchased on your desktop already work on your iPad. So you don't need to buy a separate bunch of packs for your iPad. In fact, the only way to get them onto your iPad is to purchase them on your desktop and then the M installer on your iPad will mirror exactly what you've bought on the desktop version. So let me show you. I'm gonna open up a project here. This is in the cloud. This has already been worked on on my desktop, but I'm gonna work on my iPad, make some changes, save them, and then we're gonna open it back up on the desktop and have a look what's happened. So as you can see, we've got motion VFX on the timeline here. So I can just play this through quite happily. And let's make an adjustment to this. So you'll see here, all the motion VFX that I've got installed will be here in our effects. So we can come down here, there's some there. At the minute, they just come in as a big long list. I do believe that's gonna be addressed, but this is literally version one. This came out literally today. So the fact that it's working is fantastic. So we can go through here. Let's make some changes to this one here. So I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna go to my inspector and let's just change the color, for example. Let's make it yellow. I'm gonna click on there. That's done. If I save that, the project is now saved to the cloud, which means when I open that on my desktop version, it's gonna be replicated identically. I'm gonna to go to that cloud project here. It's locked at the minute because I'm gonna to have to load it in read only because the iPad has opened it first, so that editor has control. But you can see already that's updated and it's now yellow. So perfect sync between the two. Just to show you how we actually get the motion VFX onto the iPad, I'm gonna show you the M installer. So I've installed the M installer from the App Store. Once you've launched it, you need to log in. And then down the bottom, you've got my products, tutorials, and help. So my products is gonna show you all the products that you've bought. And tutorials is gonna give you some DaVinci Resolve tutorials. And the help here, you can actually chat to someone directly at technical support. So let's just see how quick they actually respond. Uh, so send a message, uh, hi just seeing how quick this works. And let's see if anyone actually comes back. So I'm gonna keep speaking so you know I'm not editing this and just see if anyone actually gets back to us. It does say actually under one hour, which isn't too bad. And look at that, in just a few seconds, we've got a response from Robert. Hello there, how can we help you? Fantastic. Now, when I purchase a new pack, I have to use the desktop version to do that and it will automatically update on my iPad version. You can't buy new packs from your iPad as yet. So this is all the ones I've got and you literally press download because it needs to download the version for iPad onto your iPad so it works with DaVinci Resolve, really simple. And then literally go into your Resolve and you're off, they'll all appear. And you can use the motion VFX independently on your iPad as well. They don't have to be created on the desktop version and shared in the cloud. So I can go in here, I've got all my effects. So all the packs that I've installed on my iPad are listed here. All the titles from motion VFX are listed here. And let's just add one in. So if I click in here, for example, let's just go, and I'm gonna drag and drop that down. And then all I've gotta do, click on it here, go to the inspector and I can make whatever changes I want. So let's just change the scale of that and its position. And then we can go in here, go to my title control. I can type in whatever I want in there. Let's just change the color quickly. And there we go. 
So works really well just independently on the iPad as well. And just to point out, if I go back to the M installer, some of the packs have this little information symbol next to them. If you click on that, it will let you know that some of the elements are not supported yet. That's because on the iPad, some of the fusion elements aren't yet supported in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So obviously Motion VFX is counting on those in order to work, but most of the packs are working really well. So Motion VFX have been kind enough to sponsor this video. I've only let that happen because I genuinely use this product. Check out this video here where I go through all my favorites and show you a little bit more in depth about what you can get with Motion VFX. There is a link in the description which will give you a discount. If you see a better offer from Motion VFX, click the link below and type in their code. You'll get the same discount that they're offering. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.